What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be looking at the attacking method called the Red Witch. Yes, this is the method that I created, uh, and it's basically a variation of Witch Slap. Uh, but basically all you do is take out a Golem, and you replace it with Valkyries, and you, uh, the original version had jumps in it, just like a Witch Slap, but the version I'm running now, I actually use three Rages and a Heal. Uh, so basically the Valks cut into the core of the base uh, so that the boulders can roll through and get a lot of value. Very similar to the Grunginator. Uh, but yeah, but I created this attack before I even knew of the Grunginator. So basically uh, I have adapted it uh, based on my Grunginator play with the spell comp. So it makes it a lot more effective in my opinion. And let's take a look at Tyke because he just adopted that spell comp recently in his war into Swift. To sure and here we go we're gonna take a look at his attack and he's just gonna set up a funnel just like a normal witch slap and once he gets that down now right here I do my witches differently uh, Tyke puts them all in the middle and he's taking out his breadcrumbs here and I like to leave breadcrumbs for my Valkyries because that kind of targets them in to right where you want them to go it's okay, they're going in just like you wanted. And here they go. And here comes the bowlers, but now, uh, being that the witches were all close to the heroes, the, uh, the uh, healers have jumped off of the funnel witches and on to the heroes, which is one of the problems of witch lap. You can run into this uh, a lot. But Tyke does not heal uh, his Valkyries, um, and normally, when I do this attack, I heal the Valkyries as soon as they break through the base and take all that uh, DPS from the defense. I, I throw um, I throw a heal on them and kind of bolster them. But right here, you can see the Valks are dead, uh, and he used the heal on the Bowlers and the Royals. But he still has his Queen's ability, and he's still got a great core shot. So it ended up the, the Valkyries still done their job, and he's going to get through the space. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because these uh, attacks do take a little bit of time to get through the base, but they ultimately uh, destroy. So, Queen went down to the cannon, but it doesn't matter because there's plenty of witches left. And there you go. Great job, Tyke. Excellent attack. And now my last, uh, my last example of Witch Slap is actually being performed by the boss. And this uh, version of it is actually the old spell comp, guys. This one has two jumps, a rage, and a heal, just like a normal witch slap. But this is not a normal witch slap, it is a red witch. So let's see uh, boss's version uh, of my uh, attacking method, the red witch. And she's coming in, uh, just like you would think, making the funnel. Now she has put a line of witches very similar to how Tyke is running uh, with the funnel witches. And there again, I, I typically like to run a breadcrumb in the center, but with this, uh, she's using jumps, so she does not need a red a breadcrumb. She can just let them go right in. Here comes that first rage. And she's gonna need to heal those Valks pretty soon, but she, oh, she dropped her heal back there. Uh, so the Valks are going to die. They definitely have taken a lot of heat. I'm not sure she got a whole lot of value out of those Valks. Let's see. Uh, there might have been one there. Not sure. But her Funnel Witches are still getting the job done. Her Queen's ability will be used here in a minute on the bow. And those were the biggest threats uh, to uh, the, the three star at this point. You know, to the base defending. I think the Witches will be able to handle pretty much the rest of this ring of defenses with the healers and it is a wrap once the queen breaks out those healers will jump off onto her and bolster her health again and she'll be able to push through the base look at this how beautiful this attack goes through i'm telling you love it well they lost the healers there on that side of witches but that's all right great job boss Excellent attack. 
All right, guys, and this last Red Witch attack, guys, is actually a hybrid. It is not a standard Red Witch attack in either way, shape, or form other than the outline of it. Like, yes, it has uh, the, the Witch Slap funnel on the sides. It has Valkyries for the core. And, you know, it has a Rage and a Heal, but that's pretty much where it ends, guys. This, this uh, attack has a different spell composition. It has a Quake set with a jump, so that's different. And guys, there's no bowlers in this composition. That is a Golem. Watch this, uh, and, and there's arguments to uh, if a Golem is effective with Valkyries because they'll just outrun it. But guys, just watch this attack and you tell me. Now, I'm telling you right now, I like the looks of this who the boom king i was very impressed with this attack i seen what you try to do with the healers uh, it didn't quite work out uh, as you guys will see um he runs into healer trouble he, he tries to go naked here on the witch walks for a minute to allow the golem uh time to get away from him but it does not work out as he drops his healer at the top it goes immediately to the golem and that's what he didn't want and then this uh this um, healer gets shredded, so ultimately he just waits and deploys healers again, and he just sacrifices the top. But it doesn't matter, because the Valkyries are going to route the top boxes. And so these witches, if they do decide to go along the sides, they'll be just fine, because there's nothing going to be left to, uh, to take them out at this point. Now I would say that heal might have been too deep, but it's okay at this point. Uh, the attack is looking really nice. Uh, he actually got some witches to go in, and the skellies are creating quite a storm in the center. And look at these wizards. They're helping out. And right here, the king's ability has been used. And the queen still has her ability. And these are not max royals, guys. These are 23 and 22 royals. And he has crushed this base. It is crushed with this hybrid attack. I, I love it. I think this is pretty cool. Pretty cool here. I'm going to speed it up because this base is a wrap. And Huda Boom King, if you have any more of these attacks, uh, please contact Cleric Dragoon on Discord immediately because I would like to see this one a few more times. And guys... Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching these Red Witch attacks and even this hybrid in the end. I just kind of wanted to show that even though it's technically not a example of a Red Witch, it is a hybrid of it. So hybrids develop as as uh, attacks change and bases change. Uh, creativity of the attackers changes and they think about attacks and go, hey, what if I tried this? And so I really like... Who to Boom King's uh, thought process on that, and I wanted to include it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys are trying Red Witch. It is a great attack, guys. Very, very consistent, just like a Witch Slap. Very consistent, a very good attack, and it works on a lot of bases. And with that being said, guys, I am out of here. Guys, uh, I'm going to tell you, these guys, if you if you ask, they deliver, and I got two more of these hybrid attacks by the guys over in Too Swift Too Sure. Uh, right here, we got Talkie Toaster using the same attacking method uh, that his teammate, Who the Boom King, done. And I'm, I've seen Talkie Toaster use this, this spell comp on a regular Red Witch, so I'm kind of curious... Uh, let's let's see how he does on this. Now I can see that the ADs of this base are definitely um, not really in great position for a standard slap, much less a hybrid of the Red Witch. And you can see where that jump's going to go, and that's pretty much going to give him everything he needs. Uh, and of course this base is a little bit underpowered, but... Talkie Toaster has 
1919 Royals. So it is enough for what he's bringing to it. Now here we go. There's his rage. Uh, I'm looking for the Valkyries at this point. He's, he's going to need to heal them. And there he goes. Man, he was on point with that heal. I think that if he'd have waited any longer than that. Oh, wow. He just lost two Valkyries to a spring trap. And so right here, as you can see, that Max Golem is finally split. This queen needs to step up and get into that jump before she has to bang the wall a little bit. Uh, but at Golemite is going to die here. Uh, the king and the bow have taken him down. Now the queen is being targeted, but now she will phase and the bow threat will be eliminated. Now she can cruise for a minute uh, because this wizard tower is not focused on her. And she got him pretty much free. Uh, so now, there you go. As you can see, this base is wrecked. It doesn't matter anymore. Talky Toaster has taken out the guts of this base. The healers are just fine. And they're going to smack this base. And that's all that matters. The queen is inconsequential at this point. It, yeah, it doesn't matter what she does. And so uh, the witches will take the rest of space. Now, of course, the healers jump off the witches, but it doesn't matter. It's GG for Talkie Toaster. Now, guys, I'm going to show you one more example of this attack, and it is by Who the Boom King. And on this one, guys, he has a little bit of trouble. Uh, this one uh, will be my last video extra, but he has a little bit of trouble with his base, guys. And his core shot is not as clean. And it gets a little disconcerting for this tuber here. I thought that he may fail. Obviously, uh, you see the three star in the corner, but just looking at it, it looked rough. Now, right away, you can see these witches are too close to that golem. And that is a huge mistake uh, to put them. And look, right away, they redirect. They're going straight to the golem. And I see this time and time again uh, with attacks uh, of witch slaps and those type of attacks. It happens over and over again. You just need to add spacing uh, to prevent that. But right here, as you can see, um, the golem is pretty shredded. Even though healers are on him, he's down to one golemite. And he is completely shredded. There's the king's ability. He is under duress. Because of the balloons, man, he got he got wrecked. And that golem's like, I'm out of there, but then he got wrecked. So right here, uh, Huda Boom King is in trouble, guys. He has no healers on the bottom witches. They're getting pounded by Splash. His queen is in the core by herself. One healer on her, not going to stand up to the last two air defenses and that expo, probably. Uh, much less Tesla's. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, he phased here, and I'm not quite sure he needed to phase. Uh, you guys, Kurt, you guys let me know. I, I didn't think she was in that much trouble, but maybe he was trying to save those witches at the bottom. Wow, they just took some major splash right there. The queen is down, though, and now it's all up to the witches, guys. And guess what? They're going to save the day. I'm going to speed it up. And just let the carnage ensue. And right here, Huda Boom King had his rabbit's foot out, rubbing it, going, Come on, babies, come on. And it paid off. GG, Huda Boom King. And guys, that is my video extra. And I hope you guys enjoyed it.